right, how's it going, everybody? This is going to be a video on how to convert an unwireless light, an unwireless DMX light into a wireless DMX. Here we have a picture of the two lights. The one on the left is already converted into wireless DMX. The one on the right is the one that we're going to be converting. Right now, we're going through some tests. Uh, these are going to be the internal programs of the light on the left that's sending signal via the cable to the light on the right and seems to be working fine and now we're doing the DMX as you can see it's been addressed 349 on the left and 357 on the light on the right so now we are going to go over to our laptop and make sure we got the right channels 349 and 357 on the highlighted one so let's go over to the uh, functions area where we have all the stored uh, DMX values DMX programs and every uh, the little screen right here so we're gonna hit play and now we're gonna turn on the up lights this is the button that I use for uh, all the up lights this is a set color uh, right now it's set to amber so as you can see the one on the left is receiving the signal and sending it to the one on the right and then we're getting that amber combination all right now back to the screen we have a um, chase going from different colors light blue tiffany green and here we have the same chase being received by the light on the left and transmitted via the cable to the one on the right so right now we're just testing this light on the right making sure that everything is working fine before we actually open up and operate on this light and uh yeah seems to be working fine once again here this light on the left on the bottom of the moving head is the one sending the signal from the computer to those lights so there's no wires in between it's just the wireless end here are the components um, it's gonna be a quick picture but uh, if you want to pause it so but here we have the uh, DMX board that receives the signal this is the brains of the operation these are the cables what I'm attaching right now are the cables that are gonna go into the light and it comes with uh, two uh, washers one one nut to secure it into place and of course the antenna so it's going to be an easy install pretty fast pretty easy to do and i would suggest anybody that wants to try it to try it so here we go it's going to be the tear down of the light taking off the first cover is the the plastic cover on this particular light and six screws and then we have four more screws to remove the uh, metal plate that holds down the the lights so let's take those off All right, and uh, here we have seven lenses, I believe, seven light, two, four, six, seven lenses that we took off. Next, we're going to remove the uh, studs or the spacers that hold the metal plate to in place. And then we take off the screw, uh, then we're going to take off the LED plate, which shows a heat sink, and that's held by three screws. We're going to remove those screws so we can get to the bottom of the light. I've already done three of these lights, and this is going to be the fourth one. So I've already had a little practice on these, and I know what's going on. So right now, I'm trying to figure out um, the last three I did about three weeks ago. So I didn't remember that I have to loosen the screw on the bottom to get to the cable, which is holding down the the power supply under the the sink that gives me a little bit more slack so I can take off those cables. What I'm going to do too is um, here I'm taking a picture so I can remember the color uh, orientation on the power supply. So what we want to do also on this light since the power supply is on the bottom or the power cable is on the bottom I want to uh, remove it and put it on onto the side so that it can lay flat on the ground. So it's an extra step and I just wanted to take it because I am gonna put these inside a truss as truss warmers. Uh, so here we go, we'll pull out the cable, put a little light so you can see how it looks. So it pulls out, uh, we're gonna set that to the side and then we're gonna take off that nut in there that's holding the uh, plastic holder for the cable. And again, there's the hole. I should have probably covered it up with tape at this time, but I didn't think about it. So I'll open those four lights up later, or either I'll put some cable on the bottom. So now let's take the other light um, 
and we're gonna find out where the cable has to go. Oh, but first of all, let's uh, remove the uh, LED lights. We don't want these to get damaged. So we're gonna set those off to the side and um, I'm gonna move the cables of the DMX. So let's see what the, the one is ground, the two is data positive and the three is data negative. So keep that in mind. And um, actually on this board, particular board, you don't need it because you have the designations. Five volts on the left, XLR, two and xlr3 that means pin two goes to xlr2 and pin three goes to xlr3 and we have the ground and now let's get the colors so we have xlr3 is yellow xlr2 is white so that's going to be an easy easy uh way to figure it out and it's even easier on this particular right because it has the numbers one two and three as you can see so we just follow the traces and i'm gonna start uh, with the yellow one, which I forgot about, I think it's number three. So we're going to do the, the yellow one on the bottom pin, uh, or top on this case of the, um, of the XLR. Then we're going to bring in the white and set it to the, um, number three. Okay. So yellow is two and, and um, and, uh, white is three. And then we set the ground. So this is pretty set to go well, you just solder the three wires directly into the light and um, as you can see it's a pretty good solder job I did I put enough paste um, now we're gonna drill that hole so we're gonna find out where the hole goes on the light so all four of them are the same way so we, we have on one side we have the wireless antenna on the other side we have the the power cable sticking out so now that I have seen where it is I'm just gonna drill a half inch hole where I can put in the plastic holders and then we're gonna set the power cable through that holder and then we're gonna give it enough slack so I can reach over to where the power supply is and plug in those three cables and also we had a uh, um, a ground cable that goes to the top of the board that was there so here I'm pulling out the phone, making sure I got the right designation. And the one on the left is going to be the ground, so we're going to put ground uh, on there. And then um, I actually stopped the video, so just the picture we took helped us out. All right, at this point we're going to be doing a trying to find the five volts. So we want to find five volts on the board somewhere. And I've already done this, so I'm just going to poke around. I forgot which lead of the big chip was. So I will poke around, make sure everything's plugged in. And uh, here we have one volt, that's not enough. And here is where we have the five volt. So that's where I'm gonna solder the red cable uh, from, the, from the circuit board into, from the wireless DMX board into the main board. So let's do a test just to make sure all the cables are lighting up properly. And you're gonna see under my, my hand on the left side it's gonna light up as soon as I touch it it's gonna light up red all right there we go we have full power to the board and it keeps slipping off that's why it's turned on then we turn it to the channel that we're submitting DMX and as you can see it immediately picked up the wireless DMS X signal so that's enough for me to get it soldered on there so I'm gonna turn off the light and then I'm gonna off camera I'm gonna solder that cable in there so now that it's soldered on um, we're going to plug in the light and we're going to test it to make sure it's receiving signal. So here, watch what happens. Watch what happens. All right. As you can see, I bumped the table and I didn't pay attention, but uh, the light came off. So right now it should have been turned on. As you can see, the, the one sending light is, is on, but mine isn't the one on the table is not turning on. So I figured it was because the I, I mean, I didn't see when it happened, but it was because I knocked the table and the lights came off. So. All right, so let's try it again now that everything's secured a little better. And here we have the green light and it's receiving signal. And I have the orbit on the left where I have it programmed to the computer. So let's hit the uh, up light button. And we have immediately we have the, the uh, light turning on. So now we're going through different programs, uh, strobe effect. 
we have a uh, chase we're gonna start the chase right there it's working good let's tap it to see if it's responding so everything's responding perfectly so at this point I'm, I'm, I'm very happy with the results and um, everything's working good so now what we have to do is drill the hole for the antenna and I just did it opposite side of the power cable tighten it up really good um, and and then we are set to go uh, so first I did the antenna so next I'm gonna plug it into the board uh, just to make sure it's proper fit here's the antenna being attached we're good to go there so here we have the antenna cable attaches to the board at the bottom of it with the little the little pin connector I forgot I don't know what, exactly what the name of the pin is but that's where it goes and I found a place to put this antenna uh, where another fan was supposed to go and all I do is um, put a zip tie on it and I don't want to put the zip tie too tight because when I put it really tight the button kept getting stuck so I left a little slack not too much it's still tight I mean I still push the button and it won't move but it's as you can see there's so maybe like a one millimeter of play on that so it's not tight all the way all right so we got that secured on there the next thing I want to do is I want to secure these cables so they're not running around and get stuck in the fan so I just grab a one zip tie and uh, tie those up pretty tight so they don't move around they're just a little bit more secure that way all right so let's clip that zip tie and it's good to go I'm happy with the results uh, making sure everything is plugged in before I keep moving forward um, realize that the uh, LED lights are not plugged in so we just plug them in and then now we're just gonna reverse all our steps and uh, securing everything starting with the power supply and the heat sink then uh, I realized that I didn't have the the power cable secured so I did that not on the outside so now we do the power supply do uh, the actually one of the stands broke off so one uh, we're only doing two two cables uh, this is a Chinese light so uh, things like this are expected to happen uh, so let's do the uh, LED board to the heatsink and, um, and then the stand off starting with the ground we got to put that ground in there and I double check because I didn't remember where the hole for the ground was but it's uh, right next to it those are the stand off so we put four stand off holes and um, I had it too tight so I had to loosen it up so I could get the other holes in the other stand offs in All right, and then it looks like the standoffs are in. Everything's pretty secure. And now we put in the lenses. The lenses are pretty simple. It's a two parts, the black piece that um, goes down and then that clear piece of the uh, magnifier goes into it. And it just, it just stays in there um, just by force. And then it's, it gets secured with this metal plate with four screws. So that helps it um, be secure. So before I tighten everything down I'm gonna give it one last test make sure it's still receiving I didn't knock off anything before I put on these last few screws and uh, yep looks like I'm happy with the results looks pretty good so let's secure everything and make sure that everything works fine uh, those four screws for the metal plate and then the six screws for the plastic outer uh, the outer um, cover All right, seems to be the last screw. So one last test again, get the orbit, and then we'll do the uplight color, working great. Have that amber, turn it off, and let's do the chase next. Let's see, and start the chase. Remember, I have the controller upside down, so I'm trying to figure out where the button is. So we're doing the, the tap sync to the music and then stop it and then do the fade I'll have a, a fade programmed into my DMX programs 
So there we have it. I'm, I'm really happy with this light. It's working really good. I've had it for almost four years. I'm sorry, three years This on this particular light. This plastic, that's the one I put inside the trusses. So there you have it. It's good to go. So there's the light receiving DMA signal. I'll have everything off. So once again, if you like this video and it, made, it was helpful, be sure to give me a thumbs up or a thumbs down. And, uh, one last look at the light. So once again, make sure um, if you enjoyed this video, if you want to see more videos like this, give me a thumbs up or a thumbs down if you didn't like it. And uh, we're good to go. Thank you for watching.